an order, Roberts. Put the gun down. Fuck you! I gave you an order, Roberts. Put the gun down. No. You don't even know if this is gonna work. You're gonna blow us all up on a fucking guess and hope to save the world like it's a fucking movie or something. We can still make it back to Earth. Just let someone else figure out how to stop this thing. We don't have time for that. Ten minutes from now, this thing will be disintegrating in orbit. Then it's over for everyone. Freddy, we've already been exposed. We only have a few hours left anyway. We don't have time for a goddamn debate. Put the gun down, Freddy. Come on. No. We're all dead. All dead. Mr. Curtis up here. Yes, ma'am. Maybe. Maybe Freddy had a point. We don't know if this is gonna work. What if we burn the engines up before we knock this thing out of orbit? Or we miscalculate the vector. Two degrees off, and Earth's gravity pulls it in even faster. We only get one shot at this, Miss Miller. We can't afford to miscalculate. Jesus. Uh, Sandy and her, are you okay? We're okay, Gary. Mr. Curtis, are the engines ready? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I need you to do the final set of calculations. Freddie was supposed to... I've got it. Any luck cutting through all that radiation? It's not so much the radiation. It's whatever is powering this thing. It blocks every signal I try to send. You have our backup ready to launch? Yes, ma'am. The only question is, will there be anyone down there alive to get our message? If this works, the answer is yes. Recording. This is Kamora Dusalan, commanding the Cargo Transport Galaxy 135. Approximately 49 hours ago, we encountered an unknown object headed directly for Earth. It appears to be natural in origin, but we determined that it is an artificial construction. We can't scan the interior or determine its point of origin. We attempted to gain access to its interior and lost our ship's doctor and three crew members in the attempt. We believe this is some kind of attack. The object will settle into a decaying orbit, burn up the atmosphere, and irradiate all life on Earth. My ship and crew have all been exposed and will be dead within hours. We're going to use our ship's engines to divert the object toward the sun. We don't know if this will work. And we never will. Launch when ready. Yes, ma'am. Heading set. Vector set. Thrusters activated. We should be in position in about six minutes. Great. Six minutes till we're all dead. Perhaps we could play some cards. You think it's a fucking joke? We're about to blow this ship up and hope to God we send that thing into the sun and you're cracking jokes? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Let me tell you something. 
Just because you don't have anyone back home to care about doesn't mean that I don't. I have two little girls that's never going to see their daddy again, and I don't even have the satisfaction of knowing that they're going to be okay. Mr. Walker, get back to your station and get that message we launched. Mr. Curtis, double check your calculations and get ready to fly this ship. Sorry, Joe. It's fine. Just make sure you hit that thing. Ooh, he launched. Good. It's frustrating, you know? Some alien sends this thing out. We don't know who they are, where they're from, or why they want to kill us, or even if they want to kill us. We don't know anything for sure. You're right. It is frustrating. That's life, you know? If we knew all the answers, it'd be pretty boring. Good looking family. Yeah. They don't even know I'm out here right now. Haven't even seen the girls in six months. Now I won't get to them. You'll see them again. Gotta make sure of that. I'm not really the religious type. It's not too late. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. One minute. We're in position. Deactivating thrusters. Bringing main engines online. Bringing engines to point 9C. Any famous last words, Captain? It's been an honor serving with you. And I hope this works.